Thank you, Dalena and IWTO team for offering me the opportunity to tell you our story or how to stay on track throughout stormy times. DBC Wool is a Belgian family business since 1938. We are located in Verviers, Belgium. It is an old renowned international wool center. We are specialized in scored and washable wool for bedding field. Our wools are mainly used to produce then filling for quilts, mattress, mattress covers, pillows, and things like that. This is why we are selecting wools for its volume and crimp. A little bit of history is essential to understand who we are. In 1938, Mr. René de Four founded the company, which had different names over the years. Second Mondial War happened shortly after foundation. The company stopped all activities during this period. After war, we were making business with noils through local market only. At that time, there were many, many actors in Verviers, Belgium. The whole city was living thanks to this rich wool and textile activity. In the 50s, first important crisis made disappear most of, of the big local actors. My father, Mr. Etienne Blandiot, started working with Mr. Defoe during these stormy times. In the 70s, Mr. Etienne Blondio, my father, became partner and shareholder to finally lead the business alone with eight working people. In this period, business was made with wool, neps and slabs for apparel and mainly carpet. This was the big business. Sales market were Italy, Germany and other countries of Europe. End of 90s, another big crisis caused by carpet market collapse and loss of Italian customers who preferred to work directly with age. We had to meet a new challenge to survive. And around the year 1999-2000 was developed new, this new business, which is still actual, wool for bedding with, of course, new customers' markets. We succeeded and managed to bounce, to find new opportunities and new directions for our company to overcome these crises. We are now the last wool trader and transformer in Verviers and in the Belgium. And now, who are DBC wool people? We are all three leaders of the company, taking all important decisions together, with each of us our specialty. Jean-Luc Blondiau worked 25 years with Etienne Blondiau, his uncle. He is in charge of operations, purchases, process, and many others. But in fact, he is the real technical wool man. Dominique Blondiot, myself, daughter of Mr. Etienne Blondiot, in charge of sales, prospections, communication, development, new projects, and the local Belgian market. Yves Blondiot, son of Mr. Etienne Blondiot, but not daily active in the company. But he has a really important upper eye and view on strategy and finance. To achieve our goals, we have different key success factors. First key, teamwork. We are a dynamic and complementary leadership team. Second key, ID. Is our know-how, our local heritage. Next, our vision of work is collaboration and networks. Our strategy is to develop customer intimacy 
and joint development. Other key success factors. We are always in research of innovation, adaptation to the today's needs. It is really important. We are also offering a Tylo made product. It is our service. And of course, quality, an important success factor with our, our know-how know -how, and our control at each step of the process. And finally, our capital. We are self-founded, we are a family business, so we are totally independent. Next, I come back on each key factor in details. Let's see our team factors now. We are a complementary and dynamic leadership team. We are all brothers, sisters, cousins. We are all family co-owners. Wool is then not only for us a passion, but it is also our roots. We are running this business, first of all with love and because it is our family. I already talked about each of us. Our strengths is definitely our difference and our complementarity in each important quality needed to succeed in this business. Our ID factor is also our basement. Family know-how since 80 years. We have a long experience in purchase, blends, scoring and treatments. This know-how is existing also thanks to this local heritage. We are located in Vervier, which is an old renowned international wool center. In this center is still existing the last continental European scoring mill. It is located next door to DBC Wool, really easy for an efficient collaboration. So it is also allowing a rigorous control at each step of the transformation. We have to use what is existing close to us. This is obvious. We have a very close relationship with Belgian manufacturers for scoring and other treatments. We have also an established and loyal network of farm collectors in Europe. Each of them were selected after many visits on the spots. We remain in tight contact with them all the time. It is really important. So at the world scale, we can say that our ecological footprint is very low. All these collaborations and networks are really our strong basis for adaptation and innovations. In strategy factor, again, the bind, loyalty and communication are for our business the basis. This is naturally leading to customer intimacy and joint development. This trust is earned year after year. And we are Belgian in a very tiny country, but located in the heart of Europe. We are then by essence wide open on the world. Exportation is now 99% of our business. We are always in research for a better adaptation to the today's needs, ideas and customers' inquiries. For that, we are keeping an attentive eye to the possible treatments. Of course, wool is nature, but it has to be modern also. Traceability is one of the new challenges, from the farm or the area to the best consumer. This is a service that we are giving to our customer. It is tailor-made. What about protection of the environment? We have a safe scoring process. The detergents used are biodegradable and a lot of energy is saved 
due to sophisticated technical solutions. The effluent waters are treated by an up-to-date water treatment unit certified by European Union. Of course, we are also attentive about animal welfare. Here in Belgium, in France, we have many small farms and small flocks. Really easy to handle about that. Our farms are not doing mulesing. Our strength is our service. We spend a lot of time to satisfy and to find the good solutions for our customers. Again, and already said before, our rigorous control process to improve the quality, our know-how to anticipate the results of composition and treatments, and a real tailor-made work to ensure traceability. Focus now on our main success factor, the quality. Of course, now you know it. Eh? Know-how and long experience, close contacts with farmers and with customers, and also certifications and labels. Nowadays, it is essential to guarantee uh, this quality for the customer. So we have two major labels, which are Ecotex and Organic Certification GOTS. They are, these are the two labels which are mainly required. Focus on capital factor. In the past, we needed external funding. DBC Wool started with very little business and grew slowly, step by step. Nowadays, DBC Wool is self-financed. This means independence from the banks and from external shareholders. It is a major asset to ensure the financial good health of the company. You understood that DBC Wool it is importation of greasy wool from Europe, treatment of this wool in Belgium, and exportation of this scored and treated wool all over the world. But now uh, let's focus on what is the wool situation in our own country. Wool was not valued. It was dropped or exported in greasy. This means no scoring, no treatments for our industry. A big loss of the added value. It was also very few products, wool products, on the Belgian market. And overall, consumer was not aware anymore of wool wonderful properties and benefits, especially young people we lost a wool generation. All these observations were very sad to me. What is the problem? What is the demand for a revival of the interest for wool? What are the sheep breeders needs and ID? They need to participate to a local project. It is always satisfying. They need also the organization of a fair, fair trade to obtain a better salary against good work. And now, what are the wool companies' needs? They need, of course, diversification. They need political visibility to show they are still alive, they are still existing and making good business. They need also to hope to obtain a better support from government. They need also, of course, partners. And what are the consumers' needs? They need and they want more and more local and fair trade products for a better local added value. They need natural local products 
something else than feather and down with a better image. And they need also, of course, healthy bedding, well-being. They want to know what they are buying exactly. To all these questions, one answer. In 2010, the development of a local wool short chain supply. This was possible thanks to a partnership between DBC Wool and Belgian sheep breeders organism. This helped to inform and convince sheep breeders of Belgium to embrace our project. This development became Lanado Project, a sister company which was created for this purpose. To reach our goals, I had to reorganize the wool sector in Belgium. To build a Belgian loyal and strong network of farmers, I followed these four main ideas. First of all, I had to interest them financially and philosophically, of course. They can earn more money for a better work in knowing that when we are selling directly a finished product, we are earning more. We are then able to pay more as a return on profit. After that, I had to raise awareness. Of course, no sorting means bad quality, means no finished products and then no money. I had also to convince them to make sure that this project will be sustainable. Everybody has to be happy to obtain good results. And finally, a long work of information had to be done because this will work no how and shearing no how were totally lost in our country. These wool collections are organized each year. We are building a loyal relationship with the sheep breeders and the shearers. Each year, we are increasing the collected wool quantity. We started with 8 tons in 2010. We have now 100 tons and more. Of course, communication and information are always needed for a good stabilization of the quality. It is still now a daily work. To organize all that, we have now the collaboration of different Belgian natural parks. They are really helpful. We have also now our shear team that we trained to help to the collection and to sort the wool when they are shearing. In 2012, at least, the dream came true. A 100% Belgian wool dovet, proudly produced thanks to the whole know-how of our regions and of our enterprise. It is a real teamwork. Sheep farmers in our regions took care of their flock to allow them to produce the best wool. To each breeder who supplied a top quality wool, we are paying each year, in addition to the wool price, a bonus as a return on profit. The wool scoring mill of Vervier whose quality is renowned worldwide, handled the processing. It is the last working industrial wool scoring mill of continental Europe. Finally, the shrink-proof process and other treatments are also high-end Belgian products. We entrusted the manufacturing to a neighboring associate, whose technology and know-how meet the highest quality standards re required for other products. Softness, smoothness, lightness, but also machine washable, anti-dust mite, or organic certified. Anyway, it is really delightful to sleep under our Lanado wool dovet. Or perhaps do you prefer pillows? 
or mattress cover? You have the choice. The Lanado range is increasing every day. But most of all, it is a short chain supply product. You can find the Lanado's products in our sales outlets in Belgium, or you can buy them directly through our e-shop. I am making also direct sales in our office when people need more information, when they are more deeply interested in the whole world, it is always leading to nice discussions. I built up also a win-win collaboration with the tourism accommodations, which have rooms equipped by Lanado's product. And of course, when breeders want to be more deeply involved in the project, they are also welcome to sell the products through their farm shop. Let's continue in always thinking about future and sustainability. And overall, never stop dreaming. Sometimes, you know, dreams come true. Thank you for your attention.